Team Stich. The Floodlight Pros. At the entrance to the Montefone, in the cosy town of Chaguns, a Norse sports centre was built. Its core is the new jump facility that is now to be equipped with TV-capable lighting. Stich, a company with global experience in the construction of high-quality sports facility lighting, will put this project into practice in the next few days. The masts are unloaded with heavy load cranes for assembly. The coordinated stick team then puts the mast together piece by piece and puts them down for completion. Next, the consoles, ramps and ladders are set up. All cables are placed and routed through the cable outlets after numbering. Now, the Philips High Performance ArenaVision floodlights are installed. These high-precision floodlights have eight different reflector types. Light calculation will determine the emission angle and target point. Once the mass cables have been connected, the spotlights are set to their target coordinates with a protractor. At commissioning, the lighting pattern should be correct, needing only a last fine adjustment for even illumination. Before the mass are erected, the anchor threads must be cleaned to ensure smooth operation of the nuts. The nuts are leveled and assembly can commence. An accessible foundation is located in the outlet area for the heavy load crane. The mast is chained to the lifting points and guided towards the screw connections. Team Stich has done this many times before. Everything is just right. The mast is finally adjusted. The remaining nuts are tightened and countered with a torque wrench. Now the terminal box is added. The mast distributors are connected to the mains and the mast cables are assigned and connected according to their switching stages. This was the simple part of the project. But now the 4.5-ton masts are brought to the sites by helicopter for installation. Team Stich are clearly getting excited. Far away, a growl is increasing. The Kamov heavy load helicopter arrives. It can transport loads of up to 5 tons. Now the lifting gear and assembly aids are installed on the masts. The helicopter rope has a length of 50 meters. The mast with lifting sling is 30 meters high. The pilot has to target an anchor basket with up to 32 anchor rods from a height of 80 meters. The diameter of the anchor rods is about one centimeter less than the bores in the flange plate and accordingly difficult to hit. Meter by meter, the mast approaches the foundation. With its weight and the extreme turbulence, it's very difficult to keep steady. Bravely, the Stich installers come to meet it. Sometimes it acts like a wild bull that must be grabbed by the horns. 
The pilot precisely guides the mast closer to the anchor threads. The assembly team manages to put it in the right position with the fitting tubes. A short radio call to the pilot and the mast is seated in the foundation. Now the nuts and the washers must be screwed on as quickly as possible. The mast is now pre-fastened and the lifting rope can be disconnected. It's time to collect the next mast. Then the pre-customized boxes are flown to the individual sites according to their assignment, fastened and connected. It has grown dark in the Montafone. Not in the jump facility, though. Mast after mast is taken into operation. The illumination is very even. Congratulations to the technicians of Team Stich, who performed the pre-setting of the Philips High Performance Arena Vision floodlights precisely, and thus did outstanding work. The last fine adjustment work completes the project. The client will be happy. Team Stig. The Floodlight Pros.